beloved one i hope you are doing well i want us to take a short reading from the book of psalms chapter 127 it says if god's grace doesn't help the builders they will labor in vain to build a house if god's mercy doesn't protect the city all the centuries will circle it in vain it's really a senseless to work so hard from morning till late at night toiling to make a living for fear of not having enough now god can provide i want you to see this it says god can provide for his devoted lovers even while they sleep now this tells us of the great things that we enjoy anytime we come into God's presence. It tells us of the blessings we enjoy anytime we are with God. And then we can do this through prayer, through the word of God, and even as we are about listening to this. So I want us to do something. We are going to like this video. So then please hit on the like button if you have not done so. This helps YouTube recommend this video out there to anyone so everyone can have access to it also by doing this you help in the spread of the gospel and of the good work of this channel then don't forget to leave a comment in that comment section hit on that subscribe button if you haven't done so on you and you here and then get on to the notification bell and do us the favor of tapping on it too you were blessed stay blessed we are going to pray for a few minutes when it's time to pray, pray passionately. Don't allow the devil just deceive you and waste your time. I know that there are many of you standing. I see you more than even the people here. Let me tell you, you remind me of the Reinhard Bonke crusade where I was standing in the midst of several people. I was not on the high table, but my hunger took me to the front. Although I was at the back, the hunger of a man can drive you to the heart of God. Regardless where you are standing, your heart can be connected. Think about the generation that stands waiting for your grace. Some of you are pastors. Think about the people God has committed. Let me tell you the truth. There is more in God. There is more in God. We have to be honest and hungry and desperate tonight. Hallelujah. So I came to lend my voice with all the men and the women of God in this city to lift up the banner of something new that we have seen God do great things in this city but I'm telling you there are dimensions of God that we have not seen and we must press through hunger praise the Lord it must be a desperate cry from the heart of people Lord I desire you thank you for the revelations thank you for the healings thank you for the prophecies but this cannot be all like you know when, when listen listen we're going to pray when pastor shola was sharing i mean his session ministered to me so much i was almost going to prompt him and say continue pastor that when the enemy comes like a flood the standard must match the flood and it just reminded me of how dams are built they are built to ensure that regardless the rise and the volume of water that the dam is built in a way and a manner that it becomes higher than the moon. Hallelujah. So I trust that there will be all kinds of impartation. I may not guarantee that everybody is here hungry to receive, but I know for sure there has to be someone in this meeting who has fasted, who has prayed, who has said, Lord, I know there is more in you. And thank God for what you have done in my life, but I am desperate and I am hungry. Hallelujah. Wherever you are in the next five to ten minutes, please find a corner and cry before the God of heaven. Take your eyes away from Joshua Selma. Let it be a cry from the depth of your spirit. Kata 
every time he calls for a convergence it is because there is a cry in the spirit for a higher dimension a higher grace someone is praying Kabarato Shalambariata. Pray the prayer that draws your mantle to your life. Pray the prayer that draws the grace for your destiny to your life. This is part of the meeting. Shatato Shalasadabaratas Kabata. We desire your glory. We desire your power. Shula parus kabarandes kale parusa diasha hasadas. Turn my life around. Set me on fire tonight, O oh God. In the name of Jesus. Grant me the eyes that can see. The ears that can hear. Let there be a desperation of Belkuta. In the last day of the feast, that great day, he lifted up his voice and said, If any man pass, Shila Baruta Sadabalanta Skabara Sushia, spring up all wells, open up all fountains. Will you open up the gates? Open up the doors. We're speaking to the realm of the spirit. Will you open up the gates? Will you open up the gates of our Belkuta? Open up the doors. You're still praying a few minutes and you'll be seated. Will you open up the gates? The Lion of Judah, the Lamb upon the throne, we hail you, Most High. You're the Lion of Judah, the Lamb upon the throne, we hail you, Most High.
Madonna Badakatu Salabrenda Skadalisha Hasada Brati Shila Barusa Zigate Barus Kalabrande Gabarus Yata Hashaladas Shadabas Sadabada Katabranda Skadabaratu Shadagate Badakatu Shalaska Barusa Degate Barata Pratas Katabarada Banada Katabrata Gadegate Bush Empre Tekete Barata Katabrata Katabarakatu Shadabranda Kasadadas Ekratusa Kabarusa Zekete Barata Pariata Kalata Brandas Katabariata Shibana Katabaraka Tabarusa Kabaska Kabalanda Sariata Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Spirit of the living God, we pray and we cry tonight that you will grant us illumination, grant us power with God, let your word prevail over our flesh until Christ is enthroned. Set us on fire tonight and let Jesus himself be glorified. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Now, please listen. I'm going to be brief tonight, but I want you to be very sensitive. There is a very strong anointing in this place. Very strong anointing. I believe with all my heart that there are activations and there are impartations transference of possibilities that whilst you are listening something is happening to your spirit man so we'll be very brief tonight but don't be distracted don't just listen to hear hallelujah please be seated please be seated We live in a time where a generation is desperate to see the reality of the spirit life that it translates to become more than a sermon articulately communicated by an intelligent man of God. The world is not looking for historians. The world is not looking for orators necessarily. There is a desperation. I'm seeing the number 21 in the spirit. And I'm seeing there is a fire. And it's coming on 21 people. Right now as I'm speaking. Just sit down. You don't have to stand. Please, I wanted to bring them out here while I teach. You will not be distracted. 21 people. I stretch my hands across the length and breadth of this place. May the angel of his presence among these 21 people ignite them. Please let the ushers bring them. Shala Subriata. For others is the fire of evangelism coming upon your spirit man in an unusual way. Please just, if, if you have them, just you can just bring them while I teach. That fire of evangelism for others is the opening of prophetic portals. 21 people. This is what I'm seeing in the spirit. And for others, you are drinking of ancient wells. There are generals that came from this city. And their mantles continue to hover around this city. 
searching for vessels that are available see the rain of your love feel the wind of your spirit now the heartbeat of heaven let us hear see the rain of your love we feel the wind of your spirit now the heartbeat of heaven let us hear see the rain of your love feel the wind of your spirit now the heartbeat of heaven let us hear so let it wait Let it wait Open the floodgates of hell Let it wait Let it wait Open the floodgates of heaven Listen to me. I want you to understand what the Spirit of God is doing. This is, this is not showmanship. It's a communication of a desperation of the Holy Spirit pressing into the earth to find vessels that can and will be able to back the revival that has been prophesied upon. It is not a sermon. It is not a doctrine. It is an experience of power. The faith life and the spirit life is beyond the teaching. There must be an experience, an attestation to the dealings of the spirit within a territory. Lord is telling me that there is a move of God that is coming to this city there is a prophetic and an apostolic move of the spirit that is coming upon the land of Abel Kuta it's a wind of the spirit that will begin to blow across the length and the breadth of this city pastors prophets evangelists apostles will begin to rise with such depth of power and fire men will begin to have encounters of the secret place you will find people who will shut down on regular preaching and they will go on hiding for weeks and for months because they will come into a season of strange dealings with the holy spirit you may think they are missing but they are not missing is the experience of the cave of adulam god is going to begin to pick people one by one it will not be a corporate thing it will not even be about husband and wife or pastors and members God will search for willing vessels one by one he will pick men and begin to train them and prune them and discipline them and then open their eyes to new dimensions in the spirit and then place new wine upon their lives they will come out like men of Issachar having an understanding of the times and knowing what Israel ought to do with me is the spirit of revival is the birthing of something new and something prophetic upon your city one last prayer and then I get back to the world there are 11 people here 
there is the grace this move of the spirit that is coming you have seen it in your dreams you have seen it in your visions and i know that many people will be part of it but i'm seeing 11 specific people men and women there is a strong fire that is coming upon them lord where are they in this crowd from the front to the back this 11 oh god that you are consecrating in this season may that fire fall from heaven in the name of jesus ignite them oh god like the forces of samson ignite them oh god a burden of power a burden of fire a portion to them dimensions in the spirit a portion to them levels of grace illumination and power we shake up the fountains of this city we command you to deliver the mantles that are hiding we shake up the fountains of Abel Kuta. deliver the mantles of the prophetic deliver the mantles of the apostolic that the labor of the fathers that have sojourned the soil of this territory will not be in vain. Spring up all wells. We call you by prophecy. Feel the rain of your love. Feel the wind of your spirit. Now the heart beats of so let it Please sit down if you can. Please sit down. Be sensitive. Hosea chapter 6. Let's see it if you can. Pastor Shola, you see, what God is doing in this place this night is very prophetic. There is truly a bathing. I'm seeing a vision of a pregnant woman, and I'm seeing water just busting and when when the water of a woman breaks it's a sign that something is about to be released this is what i'm seeing in my vision that for some of you the training is almost coming to an end your season 40 days coming to an end the season of appearing is almost opening up the days of fasting the days of discipline no one knows you yet you are still in the cave of atulam but there is there is a bad thing please hear what i'm saying I'm speaking by the spirit there are some is here you've not produced one song yet you have hundreds of them God has prohibited you and said these are songs of revival that the time will come when the nations will hear these songs there are some of you the anointing on your life can shake territories but God has not allowed you to honor one single ministration but I'm seeing a woman and her water is already putting I mean busting forth and the Bible says as soon as Zion travails that she puts forth her son please where you are pray in one minute Lord what you are doing in my life for my generation do not stop do not stop do not stop the training do not let my tears prohibit what you are doing it may be a painful sacrifice but I open up my spirit. Please pray.
Hosea chapter 6. I'm not sure I may be able to share what I plan to share. But wherever we can stop tonight, there is a grace to just attend to serious issues here. As I'm standing here, pastor, I'm seeing chains. I'm seeing oppression. I'm seeing all kinds of things and like we're sharing briefly with pastor I will never be the man of God who will come into a city and leave the chains of people on them no way it's impossible there has to be an evidence of the life the power the glory the effulgence of his grace so that you will go back with a conviction that you have not been taught cunningly devised fables Hosea chapter 6 please and verse 3 please sit down if you can mighty God it says and let us know let us follow on to Jehovah give us KJV if you can please thank you his going forth is prepared as the morning and he shall come to us as the rain he shall come to us but there is a revelation of himself that he would want us to see he will not come as he came yesterday he will come to us as the rain i want to talk very briefly on the rain it's a revelation that the Lord will have me share. Hallelujah. Now, please listen as best as you can. Scripture reveals the Holy Spirit as one who manifests himself to man in different forms it is consistent with scripture and is consistent with god to manifest himself to man dimensionally and we see that in scripture the holy ghost manifests himself using several forms for instance he can manifest as fire for instance he can manifest as wine for instance he can manifest as oil for instance he can manifest as water and then we also see that he can manifest as rain please look up Hosea is prophesying to us that God wants to come to us he's talking about the move of God but he's saying that there is a pattern he has chosen to come through and he says he will come to us please give us the b part there that he will come to us as the rain he has chosen to reveal himself to a people and to a territory as the rain every time the holy spirit uses an emblem Please look up to reveal himself to men these are tokens of revival these are tokens of the outpouring of the spirit and it's important that we study why he chooses to assume those modes and those patterns because they sustain an understanding that will guide us on how to receive his ministry the way you receive fire is not the way you receive rain when rain is coming you put a bucket or you create a channel when fire is coming you don't put a bucket so the holy ghost reveals himself as several emblems and it's important that the saints sustain the intelligence to be able to understand how he reveals himself and how to receive of his unique ministry what is the rain? 
a brief exhortation the rain is a dimension of the outpouring of the Holy Spirit upon people upon territories that is responsible for activating certain dimensions of spiritual possibilities now watch this every time fire is revealed fire comes to prune fire comes to purify are we together now fire comes to produce better versions of the same thing when you put your yam or you put whatever it is under fire the yam does not change to potato the potato does not change to rice it only changes to a form that is better for consumption so when the holy ghost reveals himself as fire there is what he seeks to do to burn off the flesh to cut off the excesses to break the stony heart to become the heart of flesh but when he comes as the rain every time the rain comes the rain comes in response to dryness the rain comes in response to barrenness isaiah 32 and verse 15 until the spirit be poured upon us from on high in the similitude of a rain then he will turn a wilderness to a fruitful vine and then if a fruitful vine he turns it into a forest so when the holy spirit comes as the rain he comes to provoke to, to provoke a new dimension of possibilities that have not been seen he comes to bring abundance he comes to move people into realms of fruitfulness rain is responsible for fruitfulness hear me man of god because there is going to be a revelation now rain fire is not responsible for fruitfulness fire is responsible for productivity but rain is responsible for fruitfulness is there hope for a tree even if it be caught at the scent of water not fire so when the holy ghost wants to reveal himself as rain it then means that he must come to a region where there has been a prolonged season of barrenness dryness lack of fruitfulness listen very carefully and there are seven things that happen when the spirit of god is revealed in a territory as the rain i will list them very quickly and then we'll pray let it Open the floodgates of heaven. Let it open. Listen. When the Holy Spirit is revealed to a people a nation a city a territory as rain he will begin to make the reality of certain experiences number one very quickly i want to be as simple as possible because i want us to understand before we pray number one the holy ghost manifesting as a rain but increased dimensions of love for god and passion for spiritual things watch this it is rain that makes the farmer suddenly become passionate about his farm when there is no rain it will look as if the farmer hates his farm yet the farmer is in love with that farm but the farmer waits for rain to prompt his passion every time rain begins to fall the farmer's passion too begins to rise it rises enough he goes to get his seeds he goes to get his hoe he goes to get his tractor and off he goes to the farm until the Holy Ghost comes as rain it will be impossible for the saints to sustain the kind of passion and zeal that it will take to love God listen very carefully 
I come from the north. It's largely an agrarian area. And when it is dry season, you almost think the people do not do any other thing. They get up in the morning and can sit in front of their houses and gist and talk politics from morning till evening. But the moment the rain begins to come, when it comes once, twice, thrice, four times by morning, very early in the morning, the once lazy man, the once nonchalant man, suddenly becomes a diligent farmer. The rain does not speak, yet it attracts. It draws you from your house to the farm. Follow me carefully. So when the Holy Ghost comes upon a people as rain, he begins to stir up a passion what is it about this book i bought the book five years ago but i've never had reason to read it but when it comes upon you as the rain you will go back home and search for that book as though an arm brother were coming to read it the holy ghost as the rain is responsible for the refueling of passion refueling of passion hear me there is a requisite level of passion and hunger it takes to be relevant in this season you're not going to love god casually and do christianity casually and preach casually no there is a depth of hunger please hear me and it is not something you just assume hunger can be imparted in a man when the Holy Ghost comes, did the Bible not say in Romans chapter 5 verse 5 that the love of God is shed abroad in our hearts, not by our intention, by the Holy Ghost. You know, people talk to me all the time and they say, Apostle, how come you love God and you are this passionate? It is the revelation of the Holy Ghost, not just as fire, but as the rain fire does not sink into the earth but when rain comes it enters right to the root of the earth and it draws something that it was hiding in the earth to come out the limit of fire is the surface but rain goes down right down so when the holy ghost comes as rain he penetrates your flesh he, it looks like he's weak but he will come in until he soaks in you a desire a depth of hunger and that's what God is doing in the life of somebody planting a hunger that you will leave this meeting and say I'm not just a Christian I am passionate and hungry for God it is your hunger that will drive you to the place of prayer it is your hunger that will drive you to the place of study that you can open your Bible in the morning and lift your eyes and see that it's 10 p.m. And you say, my God, what happened? Hunger. Hunger is a measure of health. When people are sick, the first thing they lose is appetite. The moment you lose appetite spiritually, you need the rain. There are times that patients will not eat food. But no doctor will stop a patient from taking water. Because water represents life. Is, is God speaking to you? The refueling of hunger. It's amazing how easy believers can lose their hunger. It's amazing how easy preachers can lose their hunger. And, and, and it's not something to be embarrassed about. But when he comes as the rain, suddenly your five hours prayer was reduced to 20 minutes. You didn't even know when that decline started. And then he comes as rain. And one night you go to the place of prayer and come out the next day because rain came upon you. Someone prophesied, say, Lord, send the rain. Send the rain. Send the rain. Number two, very quickly. The Holy Ghost, revealed as a ray, brings forth unusual access into the mysteries and the operations of the kingdom. How many of you have driven your cars and then wind makes your vision hazy? Even though you have light, sometimes your windscreen is hazy and you will not just need a wiper, you will also need water to clarify your vision. The 
the rain comes to take away the haziness in your spiritual understanding son of man what seest thou he says an almond tree he said you have seen correctly that means men can see but it does not mean what they saw was correct the holy ghost revealed as rain will grant you unusual access into the mysteries and the operations of the kingdom Deuteronomy chapter 32 let's look at three scriptures very quickly from verse 1 and 2 Deuteronomy chapter 32 Harus Calibra has give ear O ye heavens and I will speak and hear O earth the words of my mouth he says my doctrine shall drop as what my doctrine I will communicate a body of light to you but it will come in the similitude of rain and my speech shall distill as the dew and as small rain drops upon a tender herb and as showers upon the grass the spirit of revelation coming as the rain God granting you access clarity that you are no longer speaking opinions you are speaking with authority Luke chapter 4 Luke chapter 1 from verse 1 to 4 Dr. Luke was speaking and he was speaking to Theophilus and he was saying for as much as many have taken in hand to set forth in order a declaration of those things which are most surely there are things that are most surely believed. There are things that are vaguely believed. But others are certainly believed. Even as they delivered them unto us. Which from the beginning were eyewitnesses. And ministers of the word. Verse 3. It seemed good to me also. Having what? Perfect understanding. Not vague understanding not an opinionated understanding a man can have perfect understanding of all things so you are writing from a standpoint of conviction you are teaching from a standpoint of conviction you are not hoping you are right not that you prepare a sermon write a book then go back and hope you were right there is an outpouring that can open your eyes to perfect understanding Verse 4 says, So that you will know the certainty of those things wherein thou hast been instructed. So that when you are given an instruction that faith works, you don't just hope because the pastor said this and I respect the pastor. There is a depth of conviction that produces persuasion. number three or oh, let me give us one more scripture first corinthians chapter 2 and verse 10 first corinthians chapter 2 and verse 10 i'm being as simple as possible when you read verse 9 the bible says as it is written no eye has seen no ear has heard neither has it come into the comprehension of any man the things that god had prepared for them that love him Verse 10 says, But God had revealed them unto us by what? His Spirit. The Bible says, For the Spirit searches all things, yea, the deep things of God. So the man, if the revelatory ministry of the Spirit comes in the similitude of the rain, like a man driving in, in the night and driving in a dusty and a hazy weather, he comes as that rain that grants you perfect understanding. You can know that this is the key to the door you can know that this is the key to church growth you can know that this is the key to increase you can know that this is the key to favor you are not hoping my brothers and my sisters it is my prayer that god will bring believers as individuals and territorially speaking to a level of confidence where we do not just believe god vaguely but we would have tasted and seen that his word is dependable 
you can know the mysteries that are responsible for the various outcomes you desire walking in abundance moving with the speed of the holy ghost i am favored i am walking in abundance moving with the speed of the holy ghost that you know what to do in the spirit that is responsible for speed when someone comes to your life and say man of god i have suffered delay you don't just say let's pray you know what to do you know that there is an allocation in the economy of god where men can regain time and that is what you administer to that person you don't just say let's pray father help this man to be fast in life amen you are not effective when the holy ghost comes as rain the veil is taken from off our eyes we administer the mysteries of the kingdom with mastery with with the showmanship of an artist this is how to be a blessing so when you come to me and say apostle i have been plagued by witchcraft in my life I've not been able to move for 30 years. No one has risen in our life. I don't just say, let's pray. Oh God, have mercy. That's a careless, immature, gapful spiritual life. There must be a level of quintessence and accuracy in administering life. Please look at me. Believers, we are only blessings to the degree to which we have thorough understanding of the mysteries of the kingdom so we know what mystery is responsible for what outcome we stop guessing and hoping that this will be right if this person comes and says i'm suffering from a health condition and it is a death sentence what do i tell that person oh go and read your bible god can heal god can bless but the, Jesus said the kingdom has come. The reality that seems far, I have brought it to your domain. It is now something that you should not only hope and believe, but you should now taste and see. Listen, until the word becomes flesh, it will not dwell among us and will not be able to behold the glory. I am very passionate about studying the systems and the mysteries of the kingdom i want to know what is responsible for what i give you an instance come sir are you getting blessed tonight now watch this let's assume that this brother comes to me and says apostle i sense that i've been under an attack i don't know if it's a curse i don't know if it's a yoke nobody in our family can rise nobody in our family can you know make progress we are all graduates no one is doing well the lady is married no children now imagine this kind of scenario and he comes to me believing that i am a representative of the government of heaven i have so advocated it by carrying a name and carrying a title that is implicated now he comes to me as the closest representation of the christ it is up to me now to take advantage of the Holy Spirit, the ministry of the Holy Spirit as the rain, having perfect understanding. Now, this man can come crying. He's representing 30 years of sorrow. And yet I have advocated that God can do it. Now the kingdom is under pressure to be made manifest. I can casually pray for him and say, my brother, in the name of Jesus, I bind that spirit. I pray for you. He can even fall down while I'm praying and stand up and walk back into the same situation. Nothing changing. No, it's as if the demons did not even have regard for the name that was called. Because the name of Jesus is not a charm. There is a mystery behind it that makes it work. But I can come as a representative of the government of heaven and look at him and say, my brother, I congratulate you for paying the price to come to this ground. You have finished your past. Now you sit back and watch the invincibility of the power of this kingdom we represent. And in a moment, in a twinkling of an eye, 
30 years comes under the jurisdiction of the lordship of the christ and is torn completely a wilderness this gentleman goes back before getting home and a lot comes of a job he did not ap ap apply for and he hears that two of his sisters are already pregnant and then fresh fire for god comes in now this is the kingdom coming there is no message that is more powerful than that experience when the family now gathers their testimonies are proof that the power of god has been made visible let me tell you the world that we live in now is tired of stories they want to see a manifestation of the power of god it, i will continue to study the bible but will my family situation remain like this i'm tired of the theory of the god who can do can bless can heal can live where is that god that he will not show up he says do not say i will go to heaven to look for him romans chapter 10. he says the word is mighty he has come near the logos of god is near you are you getting blessed what is the implication of the holy spirit coming as rain number three the holy spirit being manifest among the people as rain brings about multiplied dimensions of spiritual power multiplied dimensions of grace unction anointing joel chapter 2 we we'll read from verse 28 that when the holy ghost comes as rain he brings about a multiplication of the possibilities of the kingdom and it shall come to pass afterward that i will pour like water is being poured my spirit upon all flesh as a result your sons and daughters shall prophesy your old men shall dream dreams your young men shall see visions we are reading to 32 the last verse and also upon my servants and upon my handmaid in those days i will pour out my spirit aha uh -huh. and i will show wonders the dimension of the holy ghost responsible for wonders is the holy ghost coming as rain rain the same way when it rains pastor sometimes you can see physical eyes dropping and you are watching from your window with wonder sometimes when it's raining you see that it can become a flood and take even buildings the sheer power and the energy exerted when you see that the bible says wonders in the heavens and in the earth blood fires and pillars of smoke two more verses it says the sun shall be turned to darkness the moon into blood before the great and the terrible day of the lord shall come 32 and it shall come to pass that whosoever calls upon the name of the lord shall be delivered for in mount zion and in jerusalem shall be delivered and the lord had said and in the remnant whom the lord shall call deliverance in zion wonders in the heavens as a result of the outpouring of the spirit please listen to me i pray that you observe what pastor shola said before i came up that the challenges of today cannot be solved by yesterday's anointing believe me it is true anointing works like money one thousand may do you well to buy you a meal but one thousand will not pay for rent so if your challenge is test you are fine but if your challenge is housing you will need more than that the kind of unique expression of darkness that is in our world today requires certain high level dimensions of graces i can tell you this as a man of god you will be confronted with situations that even though you have gained some level of maturity in christ it will shake your faith and you say i've not seen it in this fashion before levels unique expressions of oppression I was told about a preacher who finished preaching a nice message powerful message on stage 
and fell down there right before everybody and died very powerful message what is worse than a man dying in the presence of God do you know how that would discourage the faith of many people now you cannot say the man does not love God this man finished preaching a powerful message and died there so hell is reinventing its strategies hell wants to make sure that one event can discourage as many people the devil does not just want to manufacture events he wants to brand it with such darkness that with one event it would take a year's evangelism to recover those people so we also need to rise to dimensions of grace where one spectacular operation of the spirit like what will happen to someone tonight will be a testimony that for one year it will keep saving souls one year one year you will be you will be sharing it every day and yet people will not be tired is it not the resurrection of jesus that we've been sharing since we were born until today is still fresh because no one else could bring himself back to life there are dimensions of the move of the spirit that will happen in this day and age please hear me and i pray that it happens through your hands bible history has it saint patrick one of the great men that god used true story that there was a man who had been dead for a long time i think over six months or so and believers got a hold of a dimension of the word of god and they got angry they went to a grave with someone that had died become bones become all of that and they were praying and they got angry because they felt from the revelation god gave them that the man dead did not finish his assignment and it was said that saint patrick came and took a stone and wrote his signature and said they should dig they brought the man out bones that had ezekiel 37 said son of man can this bones it was not a parable there were realities in the realm of the spirit body of christ we must step up our trust in god otherwise we ourselves will start fighting what god is doing because it will be too high for our level of faith to receive There were times that God worked certain spectacular miracles and even among the people they doubted what is all this? The Spirit of God who can make a virgin without a man conceive a child. Who can make two children to be talking while before they were they are born. Please do not downplay the power of the Holy Ghost as real. He's coming upon people to turn ordinary people. Is he not the one that turned the generals, the ones we so talked about? They were ordinary men, but they stood before that rain. It is raining all around me. I can hear it. I was in a meeting and the person who wrote this song was giving the testimony of how the song came about and he said it was at a time when they were in a moment of prayer trusting God for revival they were praying and praying and praying and suddenly the song came as a token of God's answer to say that write this and be sure the rain is coming There's going to be a great awakening. There's going to be a great revival in our land. There's going to be a great awakening. And everyone who calls on Jesus.
me give us one more. The outpouring of the Holy Spirit as a ray brings about unusual dimensions of wealth, prosperity, abundance, and fruitfulness. Joel chapter 2. Joel chapter 2. From verse 24 and then we'll read 26. Joel chapter 2. An unusual outpouring. Let's start from 23. 23 says, please give it to us from 23. It says, be glad ye children and so on and so forth. For he had given you the former rain moderately and he will cause to come for you the rain. The former and the latter rain in our first month. 24. It says, and the floors shall be full of wheat. So the rain will not only affect sons and daughters. The rain will not be in fact when you read the sequence is that the floors were first affected before the men the men started in verse 28 it says the floors shall be full of wheat and the fat shall overflow with wine and oil uh-huh and i will restore to you the years and so on and so forth 26 and ye shall eat in plenty and be satisfied and praise the name of the lord your god that had dealt wondrously with you and my people shall never be ashamed please look up i hope you realize by now that every time we talk about wealth and prosperity and abundance we are speaking from a kingdom perspective it will be unfortunate if there are still believers now who are yet to reconcile the role that kingdom wealth and prosperity has to play has always played and will continue to play in the revelation of the Christ upon the earth. When we talk about wealth and prosperity and abundance as kingdom people, it's beyond just buying clothes and buying cars. That the name of the Lord is heavy to take resources to keep it lifted. And we must lift it high enough for the nations to see that Christ has been exalted and he's been made both Lord and Christ. And it will require resources the lie of the devil many times and this has eaten into the church is that wealth and abundance does not have any active role the reason is because we look at it from a selfish perspective i can choose to live a mediocre life not needing resources for anything that's all right but when you talk about kingdom come you will need resources this program was put up not just because of the availability of intention and hands but only god can tell the amount of resources was it not satan that paid people to say jesus is not alive he paid he's still paying today but there is a generation that will receive that investment of the spirit and come with resources resources with intention not just carnality and and, and showing that you have money Jesus you believe that's what we'll do with resources from the north to the south the east to the west Jesus you Because of economic challenges it's brought a serious distraction to their focus it's a terrible thing to go to the secret place and be thinking about money it's distracting it's a terrible thing for your pulpit to become a center for talking about money every service but people will have to resort to doing that if there is no economic advantage that comes from the intelligence of the spirit 
so when he comes he will bring to us a blueprint was it not the spirit of god that showed joseph the formula that made for survival in the seven years of famine joseph did not just see it by intellectual prowess it came to him by the spirit and in these days there are financial apostles that are rising once again listen to me i have seen it i've thought on it that individuals who will build churches and say don't even announce it man of god what is your budget for this year for next year this is it focus on the ministry of prayer and the world not discussions and not arguments about money that you would not just draw a lady and say stop prostitution but you say stop prostitution but i fix your life in a way and a manner that will make prostitution look like an insult to your life we are called out of into we are not called out of and left there the economy of god calls men out of a system into another system but it must be economically prepared are we blessed i made up my mind pastor and, and, and i've shared this with you that i will never pastor a people it is true that the signature grace and the anointing and the call is that which inspires people into intimacy with the holy spirit and opens them up to the revelation of the mysteries of the kingdom and then allows people to experience the supernatural workings of god this is what he is committed to us and will remain faithful but in addition to that i will never pastor a people who only love god and are passionate carrying the anointing and are economically depraved i would have wasted their time the plague of poverty will erode the sacrifices all of the sacrifice of godliness will almost be tortured to death do not downplay the role that poverty and hardship will play in strangling your spiritual life are we together there are people who have doubled into things they should not have not because they do not know the pressure of finances there is there is a real financial renaissance that is coming to the body of christ what we have seen now that we celebrate as the lord has shown me and supported by scripture is only trickles tests of faithfulness to see if we are qualified moreover it is required in stewards that a man be found faithful there are men who will be committed the wealth of nations in the hands of individual are we blessed i have to pray for us but let me see if i can just run the other two quickly number five the holy spirit being revealed as a rain means supernatural dimensions of wealth okay let me give you scriptures wealth prosperity and abundance leviticus chapter 26 and verse 4 please write it quickly so that we'll just go straight into the prayer and i just speak over your life and we're done leviticus chapter 26 and 26 and verse 4 leviticus 26 and verse 4 then i will give you rain in due season and the land shall yield her increase oh it's gone and the trees of the field shall yield their fruit they will only yield at the instance of the rain hallelujah so when rain comes upon you it brings forth abundance deuteronomy 11 and verse 14 deuteronomy chapter 11 and verse 14 i give you this scripture so that your faith will not be founded upon the wisdom of men it says i will give you the rain of your land in its due season the first rain and the latter rain that thou mayest gather in thy corn and thy wine and thy oil it's amazing that wine and oil too depend on rain hallelujah next number five now supernatural restoration when the holy ghost is poured up upon a people as rain it brings about supernatural restoration spiritual restoration material restoration 
Joel chapter 2 and verse 25. Just write it down. It says, I will restore to you the years. Let me tell you, when the Holy Ghost comes, he can bring restoration. Yes, sir. How many people lose their crops and lose, maybe their shops are boggled and their grains are stolen and they look forward to the rainy season as a consolation. When the rainy season comes, they go to sow again because they know that God can use that rainy season to bring them a restoration of that which was lost. Number six. Now this is interesting. When the Holy Ghost comes upon a man and individuals as rain, it brings judgment upon people, territories, and nations that oppose God's agenda. Genesis chapter 7 and verse 4. This is a dimension of the rain that now will is an interesting dimension. That the rain is not only just pleasant, the rain can also be destructive. And he says, for yet seven days, I will yet cause it to rain upon the earth. This is Noah. 40 days and 40 nights. And every living substance that I have made, I will destroy from off the face of the earth. Now, look at this. The reign of God has a judgment dimension. Not to you. It shows you all of these things I've listed. But then it now turns and the Holy Ghost can bring havoc and judgment to everything that is antichrist in a man's life. The rain. Many of us have seen the same rain we talk about that make plants to come out. The same rain can sweep buildings. The same rain can capsize ships that carry cars. Rain is not only a blessing. Rain can be dangerous. So judgment upon the people. When rain came in the days of Noah, it was lifting Noah and the animals higher and it was bringing every other person down. Simultaneously, at the same time, a few people were rising from that flood, but others were going down. And it took them and dropped them upon a rock called Mount Ararat. And every other thing that was not in that boat died let me tell you this very soon god is about to speak in this nation and across africa when god is silent understand that his silence is a language there are times that god allows the boast of men to reach his zenith and then he now echoes from heaven and says who is that man who did not create the heavens and the earth and yet makes a boast as though we did it together listen to me rain can make a statement when there is serious rain it comes with thunder it doesn't come alone you may not hear the sound of the rain but thunder always follows a serious rain and sometimes that thunder can strike once and produce havoc are we together the bible says why do the hidden rage and the people imagine a vain thing that the kings of the earth they set up themselves against god that is anointed so that they will you know wage destruction he said but god shall laugh from his throne and then in his derision he will speak god is about to make a statement upon the earth kings have risen in their arrogance and have attempted to take the place of god and for a long time he would keep quiet but then when he watches the pride and the folly of men in his majesty he will echo once and recycle obedience and honor and allow another rebellion to rise again the god of heaven is not threatened by the foolishness of men let me tell you this the god of the universe was not voted into power his very throne is like a law court righteousness and justice are the foundations of his throne he does not just sit as king he sits also as a judge and he can send rain the Bible tells us in Exodus chapter 9 and verse 23. Please give us Exodus chapter 9 and verse 23. It says, and Moses, this was the judgment in Egypt. And Moses stretched forth his rod towards heaven. 
and the Lord sent what? Thunder and hail and fire ran along upon the ground and the Lord rained hail upon the land of Egypt. God can rain. Rain doesn't always have to be water but it can be rain. God can rain down words. God can rain down judgment. The same water that was parted heat and tether was the same water that provided the moisture that put down the chariots of Pharaoh. The moisture that refused to allow. They were moving on dry ground. Suddenly when Pharaoh came with his chariots, according to the song of Miriam, God made moisture to now cause the tires to begin to misbehave. I will sing unto the Lord For he hath triumphed gloriously The horses and his riders Have been thrown into the sea You will sing unto the Lord For he has triumphed gloriously The horses and his riders Have been thrown into the sea on one side God is lifting you on another side God is shutting the mouth of those who say can God help people in this family happening at the same time listen fear a man who God has invested his jealousy in you will be talking and God will allow you to finish running your mouth then God will carefully honor the person in your presence ask her man what shall be done to a man who has done this? And her man thought it was him. So he made the best choice. And he said immediately, go and do so to Mordecai. Move with the chariot you desired and shout to everybody, bow the knee, that this is what should be done with a man who finds favor with the king. Let me speak over someone tonight. In the name of Jesus, the son of the living God, I prophesy to you that from tonight, that everything that should work in your to your disadvantage i overturn i overturn and i turn it to your favor in the name of jesus christ please sit down when her man went home and told his wife the tragic story she only asked him one question she said who is this man and he said mordecai the Jew he said you are finished you fought a covenant not a man that means this is not even all there is more to come listen there are men who God will insist until they rise because he will remember the covenant and the vow of his mercy he will remember that you served in this conference he will remember that you swept the altar he will remember you sowed your seed and he will send that rain It is true. Let me stop here. What does it take to experience the rain? Let me give you three keys quickly. Number one, the first requirement to experience the manifestation of the Holy Ghost as the rain is genuine hunger for more of God. Isaiah 44 and verse 3. Please give it to us very quickly. Isaiah chapter 44 and verse 3. It says, For I will pour water, not on him that is full, on him that is thirsty, and floods upon dry ground. And I will pour my spirit upon thy seed, and my blessing upon thy offspring. Requirement number one, hunger genuine hunger lord i desire to see your glory i desire to see the rain come upon my life hunger and let me tell you if there are people who are hungry tonight then i assure you you are not going back home the same number two what does it take to experience the rain a determination to see his kingdom come in your life across lives and across territories reminds me of the passion of pastor shola pastor shegu and all the pastors that have put this meeting together why would they leave their various churches in the comfort of what god is doing in their lives 
and then stand in partnership with all the servants of God in this city who have their own work and they are thriving and doing well to come together and call for a convergence it is a desire to see his kingdom come Psalm 63 it says oh Lord my God Psalm 63 early will I seek you my soul thirst for you my flesh longeth for thee in a dry and thirsty land where no water is verse 2 says to see your power and your glory as I have seen in the sanctuary you must have a determination a determination Lord I'm tired of seeing sick people go back sick I'm tired of seeing oppressed people I'm tired of sharing the grace and watching people go back the way they came as a man of God the Holy Ghost is attracted to not only your hunger but your desire not to make a name your desire not for fame not to be called apostle and prophet and all of these things let me tell you the truth God sees my heart and your spiritual people it is never my desire for fame to make a name you know thank God for all the clap and all these things you do for me but sometimes I just come and sit down and I just say thank God for it and my mind is completely not there all I want to see is the reality of Christ revealed in the lives of people I want to see them stand from wheelchairs I want to see the dead come back to life I want to see age-long captivities go down I want to see territories bow to the Lordship of Christ that's my passion that's my obsession that's what I live for that's what I will die for if need be if all you want is power you will not get it let me just tell you up front if all you want is to use God to be famous um, you may not do business with God in this season God is looking for people who are not afraid of standing behind the cross to say if he's the one who is seen no problem just use me oh God that's all I want if nobody knows me no problem Apostle Joshua Selman is not as important as the mighty hand of God that will come and bless people. If you are not ashamed of decreasing so that you will increase. It's been my prayer every time. As the world celebrates me and celebrates what God is doing in my life, I'm humbled. But it's a difficult thing to be me. Because on one side, there are claps that can throw you to your grave. But on another side there is a higher call and God is saying compared to where you need to go you are just one step out of the cave do not be distracted my dear son there are still lands to conquer there are still dimensions as far as I'm concerned what we are doing now is industrial attachment we will soon start when he's done with us furnished by the hand of God Thoroughly worked upon by the spirit all the areas that kill the fathers and the patriarchs God is revealing it to us and building a fortification in us if pride killed them he's teaching us something about pride now if loss killed them he's teaching us something about loss now so that when we come out we're a formidable army that what threw them down is what will climb upon because we have we have climbed their shoulders and received the intelligence that makes for sustenance at the end of it Christ be revealed in and through our lives listen you must be desperate to see Christ revealed I didn't just step into the realm of seeing visions and seeing you know things about people honestly it was never my desire to access any prophetic grace all I wanted was God is there a more effective way to help me in administering your power and your glory to people that was it I was not looking for oh God give me power so that I can see and call names and no, 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 no. see when your desire becomes oh God why is this church seven months and it's not completed what does it take to complete it you are calling the economy the hand of God that prospers you don't call these spiritual things by just calling them you call them by calling what you would do with them Why do you want the anointing? 
Why do you want the grace? Why do you want the faith? Why do you want to speak and things begin to happen? If you've suffered a psychological breakdown growing up, what you need is a revelation of the word, not ministry. But I vowed and I've made my commitment under God that forever my life and my desire, purified by my hunger for God, that I will continue to serve Him and I will continue to desire that His glory comes. Do you know I made up my mind, Pastor Sam, and I made a commitment that if I ever meet a man like I have the opportunity to meet you and you go back the same, I don't deserve to see you again. If you have to meet me twice to be blessed, then God should use someone else to bless you because it's proof that I'm wasting your time. It's the pressure that you put on yourself to be effective. Jesus met people once and their life changed. Imagine how many times we have met people and told them change is coming. <laughs> no, sir. That everywhere you are, God is in experience. And the reality of his person can be proven here and now. Burdens lifted. Lives changed. Hunger provoked in people. The tokens that follow his presence follow you like a shadow. As proof that he is with you. And you are with him. And then number three. What does it take to experience the move of the spirit as the rain prayer desperate heart cry desperate prayer psalm 64 from verse 1 and 3 1 to 3 psalm 64 hear my voice oh god in my prayer preserve my life from the fear of the enemy we're reading to verse 3. Hide me from the secret counsel of the wicked, from the insurrection of the workers of iniquity. Verse 3. It says, Who wet their tongue like a sword and bend their bows to shoot their arrows, even bitter words that can be said. Zechariah chapter 10 and verse 1. And then we'll look at James chapter 5. Now, these two scriptures are very, very instructive. He said, Zechariah 10 and verse 1, Ask ye of the Lord rain in the time of rain, so the Lord shall make bright clouds and give you showers of rain. He said, Ask ye of the Lord rain. When you discern it is the time of rain. I'm hurrying up. J James chapter 5. We'll read from verse 16 to 18. The Bible is teaching us about prayer. James chapter 5. The 16, the B part says, The effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. Then he now uses Elijah to personify the ministry of prayer and how that ministry prayer can send rain and it can shut rain. He says, Elijah was a man subject to like passions as we are, and he prayed earnestly that it might not rain. And it rained not on the earth for a space of six years. I mean, three years and six months, uh huh, 18. And he prayed again, and the heavens gave rain. Stop. When you pray, the heaven can give rain. When you pray, the heaven can give rain. You can pray yourself into a rainy season. You can pray out dry season from your life. You don't have to wait until it comes because it does not work the way it works, agriculturally speaking. You pray and change seasons in your life. Lord, I'm tired of this barrenness as a man of God. I tell people you are blessed, they are not blessed. I tell people you are lifted, they are not lifted. I prophesy and everything I said was wrong. I'm tired of this haziness. Send me rain. Send rain from heaven. And you begin to pray. And let me tell you this. Prayer truly brings rain. And when it brings that rain, it will drench you in a way and manner. You see, the thing with rain is, it's impossible fire can burn your hand and i may not know but it's impossible for rain to come on you and nobody knows 
even if you have an umbrella it will show the Holy Ghost has rain there is no flood until there is rain the wilderness does not produce flood it is rain the Lord wants to reveal himself please hear me Abel Kuta and hear me dear precious people of God there are dimensions of the Holy Spirit that he wants to bring in our lives captured as the rain and in the next few minutes that we have to pray I want you to be desperate that everything the rain can wash must be washed away from my life you don't wash clothes with oil hello please look up you do not wash clothes with oil you don't wash clothes with fire you wash clothes with water when water comes it also means you can purify you can bring a newer version of that cloth where it was stained yesterday with the ministry of water you no longer may see the stain again the rain is about to come and erode certain things from your life and bring in other new ones that's what god wants to do right now You've taken the pain and the sorrow away You've given me peace on denial There's no need to cry cause you're always for me You're my father, my everything Oh man, my The rain Meditate on what you're doing. Lord, you took my pain away, and then you gave me joy. You're my peace, my melody in the center of the storm. You gave me a brand new song to sing to you. away the memory of yesterday you are here and the devil continues to haunt you yes i know that last year you were not serious with god yes i know that even before you came here your life may not be the best representation but the beauty of rain is that it can wash away the old he said remember not the former things nor consider the things that are before i behold i do a new thing your voice in one minute send the rain oh god send the rain oh god let that rain bring abundance let that rain restore my hunger shela paratosa dikata abel put a cry for the rain let it come in ministry let it come in business Please pray. Pray. Sela baratosi anana balala balala. Mantles are falling here tonight. And 
please give me a few minutes and then we are done tonight I want to pray for you it is impossible to come for a conference like this a representation of the passion of the body of Christ and then go back the same did the Bible not say now the Lord is that spirit it says and where the spirit of the Lord is there is liberty I'm under the shadow of your wings your influence is all over me I'm under the shadow of your wings Your influence is all over me Hallelujah Hold on please Now please, please listen to me I want you to be very sensitive it's a few minutes we still have a session tomorrow but I want you to believe believe that God is able to open up the gates and to bring your life into a new dimension that you will not have to go and tell people that I came for a Belkuta Believers Conference there will be an evidence Moses didn't tell anyone he met God there was an illumination a token of God's presence. Hi, hi, hi. It's my prophecy to you tonight. for you now listen please I always pray this prayer not because I want to do it it's the spirit of the living God I want to speak restoration and speed I'm seeing the number 17 and when I pray please bring them out right now in the name of Jesus the hand of God will come upon them and they will begin to run physically please help them so they don't enjoy themselves I declare by the spirit of God for every moment of delay I stand by this apostolic and prophetic grace. I declare speed. Receive speed now. Receive speed, Abel Kuta. Speed, Kabaruta Shalata. Break it, take it up. Bring them out. No more delay. I prophesy speed. I bring you into a season by the Holy Ghost. Speed in ministry by the Holy Ghost. From the front to the back I release that grace as that anointing comes on you every delay I don't care how long it has been I release you step into that grace Abel could I bring you the ministry of the Holy Ghost speed in your academics speed in ministry speed as you are standing here i speak to your family using you as a point of contact receive speed receive speed 
No delay. I bring it to an end. No delay. I bring it to a close. The Bible says he has broken the gates of brass and cut the bars of iron in sunder. How could you be the same? How could you go back the same? Now listen. I told you that when I was ministering initially before I started teaching, I saw chains and everywhere, listen to me, listen to me. The Bible says the messianic prophecy says the spirit of the Lord is upon me. It says for he hath anointed me to preach glad tidings to the meek. It says to bind up the brokenhearted, to set the captives free, to open up prison doors. They are not parables. Now I want to pray for you. Listen. I don't know how we are going to do it. But you have to be careful now. Because once I begin to minister deliverance. As all these spirits begin to leave. Sometimes the people can be wild. So you just help and manage them. Let me pray for you. Many of you may not know. That there are demonical influences. That are the back of the patterns of tragedy. That before people. Listen. It is not just because words are spoken that you are free. Every challenge is at the mercy of the grace that confronts it. I want to pray for you now. From the front to the back. Now at the count of three. I want you to shout the name Jesus. Listen. As you shout that name. The rain. As fire. Will come upon individuals. And hear me. Except God is not God. If there is any altar, any yoke, any enchantment over any family, it comes to an end. Are you ready? At the count of three, I speak to every yoke, every spirit. The spirit of liberty is here. At the count of three, one, two, three, shout Jesus. I command powers. I command yokes. Go now. Go now. Go now. Command principalities, release God's people, release their destinies. Take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. Stop a rakata. Please help them at the back. Help them at the back. Every power, every yoke, every enchantment that is not of the Christ, I release you from it now. Ali the Salanakata. Release their destinies, release their families in the mighty name of Jesus. Hear me. You are still going to shout that name again. I'm seeing the hands of people, it's a symbol of your productivity. You walk, but nothing walks, you move, but nothing moves. Some of you should not be where you are now. But I want to speak over your life. Father, that everyone under the sound of my voice, as they shout that name, Jesus, the name exalted above every other name, if there be anything that withholds their destinies, Lord, let it give way right now. Some of you will feel physical fire upon your hands and feet. Are you ready now? At the count of three. One, two, three. Release them now. Chains be broken.
over take over i have come to the end of myself take over take over i have touched the end of myself hallelujah hallelujah i have come to the end of myself hallelujah hallelujah i have come to the end of myself take over take over i have come voice and begin to pray say lord i need help mention the areas you need his help if you don't need any help pray for koinonia pray for the ministry lord i need help pray i need help in my marriage pray i need help in my finances I need help in my academics. I need help on my job. Are you praying? Thou son of David, I cry for your mercy. Hallelujah hallelujah second prayer point lord i know it is within your power to help me i ask for your help let your power address my case tonight lift your voice and pray lord i know oh it is within your power to give me a husband it is within your power to give me a wife it is within your power to cause my business to flourish it is within your power to bring restoration it is within your power to give me a child it is within your power to cure HIV it is within your power to deliver me Oh, pray. It will put a new song in your mouth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. One last prayer point. We are going to cry for grace i just showed you your contribution to your failure you must take responsibility and say lord i take responsibility and i receive grace to make the adjustments there's nothing embarrassing about it from all that i've said you know the area that affects you say lord i take responsibility the part you cannot do for yourself you will do but the part that is your responsibility, you must take responsibility. Lift your voice and pray. Hallelujah. 
Lord, we take responsibility in the name of Jesus. We receive fresh determination, fresh persistence, fresh determination, fresh persistence in the name of Jesus. Lord, we receive the grace to pursue wisdom, to seek wisdom like a jewel. We receive grace to pursue understanding. We receive grace to live by the truths that we know. We receive grace to be convicted. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Shortly we are going to begin ministering. We'll be very fast today. I want to see how we can close on time. So we're going straight to the point. Hallelujah. We'll try to do everything very, very fast and see how we can beat time as much as possible. Hallelujah. You're going to prophesy what you want to happen to you by yourself. Are you ready now? Please, I want you to speak it. These are instructions from God. I know you have been praying in your secret place. It's not the same thing you are doing now. Open your mouth and prophesy everything God will do for you. Lift your voice and pray. I walk out of here healed tonight. Come on now. SS, you must leave me tonight. AS, you must leave me tonight. Confusion must end in my life tonight. That idea that I need for my business, that idea that I need for promotion, that restoration, I refuse to walk out of this place without that restoration, that mantle that renewed spiritual life that clarity that prophetic word oh yes 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 pray pray in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Pray that every spirit from darkness that has held your life, pray that you must be delivered this night. Every spirit tying your family, every spirit tying your progress, pray. Enough is enough. He must live my life lord i must be delivered today hallelujah 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 in recent time i have seen tremendous increase of the anointing of the spirit upon my life especially in the area of healing and deliverance I have seen this all my life but I have seen a multiplication of this grace brothers and sisters whatever your challenge is believe me there is an enough anointing to wipe your tears if only you will believe don't be part of those who have come to waste their time. There are people standing outside just staring at others. Forget about them and be focused. You know what you are going through. Miracle service is not, it's not a marriage ceremony. It's not an album dedication. You don't come and just watch and smile. You come with anger in your heart and say, Lord, I, I won't go back that way. Who told you SS cannot be healed? Who told you AS cannot change? Who told you the, the biological problem cannot go? 
who told you you cannot get breakthrough Lord Jesus we thank you we release this atmosphere to you and your power Lord I know that you will do amazing things even in this place we trust you for a quick walk there are lives there are destinies that need to be changed Lord there are people under all kinds of the influence of strange spirits that have tied their lives let not one of them escape the power of the Holy Spirit there are sick bodies that need to be healed oh God let not one of them escape the healing power of God there are families that have come with burdens Lord I pray your people have come with prayer requests impossible situations but they believe in you so Lord we give you praise hallelujah hallelujah now while the ministration continues please if you have not written your prayer requests make sure that you write them it's important it's not a religious formality it's a revelation that God gave us hallelujah during the dinner those of us who are workers will have the opportunity probably to experience the testimonies that have come as a result of answered prayers So in one minute just write your prayer request very quickly so that when we start please if you are yet to write let's just give them an opportunity please help one another with um, papers you can feel free to put on your phone contact your loved ones and tell them to send in their prayer request if it's possible there are many who have sent their own hundreds online
Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Please make sure you write everything. Write everything you are trusting God to do in your life. Hallelujah, 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's a very simple song. Lift your voice and sing it to your maker. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I look at this lady and I see a spirit, a very serious spirit. Hold my hands. The Lord will deliver you huh? from that spirit. Because this is something that wants to destroy your life. Is your sister here? Where's her sister? Is her sister here? Is she here? I need to pray for both of you because I'm seeing an attack coming to your family. There is a spirit that I saw, and this is something that has to do with somebody dying. Hallelujah. Who is here? Where is she? Please, let's save time um, very quickly so that we can. We have to pray. I'm seeing death in your family. This is somebody's obituary God wants to avert. You can help her hold her baby if she won't cry. Hallelujah. I'm going to pray for you. But you specifically, there is a spirit that torments you. I need to pray for you. Leading you into things that you do not want. Hearing a name Femi, not, not Pastor Femi, Femi. I'm hearing a name Femi. Femi, who is Femi? Please, if, if I call your case, please just save our time and come quickly. Femi. Your name is Femi? Who is a visitor? You are the one from where? Come. From where? Jigawa. Eh? Jigawa. From Jigawa State. Yes. You came from Jigawa State. Yes. Sir. The Lord is going to set you on fire. He will yes, take sir. you back there. You didn't just come yes, sir. just for a meeting. I know you just yes, thought sir. you came to receive. I've called you several times. Sir. Eh? I've called your number several times. You've not been picking. <laughs> you will receive that which you desire. Praise the Lord. Amen. My brother, I'm going to pray for you. Victoria. Victoria. I hear a name Victoria. This is Victoria. Let me just respond. Victoria. Victoria. There is a Victoria trusting God for a change of genotype genotype 
you're trusting God for a change of genotype. I don't know if it has to do with um, SSAS, anyone like that. This is a Victoria I see. I want to minister to a Victoria that is trusting God for a change of genotype. We have to frustrate come we have to frustrate the power stopping your marriage look at me we have to frustrate the power that is stopping your marriage huh because it's God's desire for you to settle down soonest you understand this is this is the devil is not going to lord it over you we are going to pray please I want you to believe I don't have to call your case I'm just flowing because the Holy Spirit is impressing it strongly upon me and then we'll just get into prayer Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Father, visit this family in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Where is your mother? Who is sick? Who is sick in your family? My mom. Because I'm seeing that, ah, we have to pray. I have, we have to pray. Hmm? This is December. Your mother will just sleep and they will tell you, I'm not a prophet of doom. They will tell you that she's dead. She has been talking about death. We have to rebuke this thing. She has been seeing dead people in her dream. She sleeps and she sees dead people. And they will be stretching their hands towards her and asking her to hold them. Some of them are people who have died before. See, there are families here with those things. But we are going to deal with it. Praise the Lord. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for this family. That spirit of death over the family. In the name of Jesus, we roll it away. We roll it away by the power of the Holy Spirit. And for you, I curse this spirit that is in you. In the name of Jesus, when the time for deliverance comes, the Lord is going to set you free completely in the name of Jesus Christ. I want to pray for you. Your hands are blessed. Listen, your hands are blessed. God expects you to use your hands to bring wealth to yourself. Your hands are blessed. The Lord is saying, I should tell you, that these hands are blessed hands are you getting what i'm saying you have to pray and trust god for ideas the things that you can do with your hands and he will bless you in the name of the lord jesus christ new level come there is still a time for impartation so you receive it but two things god is giving you number one god is giving you wisdom number two god is giving you stability huh i see you but i see like a wind you are here and there god needs to give you stability Father, you will give him stability. In the name of Jesus. Come, my dear. I pray for you. You will marry a foolish man. Say amen. I curse every spirit delaying her marriage. Now, in the name of Jesus Christ, I rebuke that spirit. Come. Um, I have to pray for you. Hold my hands. Lord, she must be free today. Today is her day of liberty. In the name of Jesus Christ, I rebuke this spirit. You must leave her. I see you in the spirit. Out of her right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. My dear, do you love Jesus? Very well. Huh? Please, he wants you to take him very seriously. Where are you from, my dear? Benway State. Benway State. Is, who is here with you? My brother. Your brother. Where is he? Love. Brother, please, can you come? I want to speak to him just before we start. What's his name? Huh? Joseph Okotu. Joseph, where are you? I hear the Lord saying he's bringing restoration to your family. That's why I want to pray for you. We are going to pray. The Lord is saying I should tell you he will give you beauty for ashes. Huh? You may not understand the meaning of what I'm saying. But as the days unfold you will see God honor you. Father let there be restoration for this family. You are going to be a great man of God. Great man of God. God is going to put a teaching anointing upon you. Supernatural grace for teaching. Supernatural grace for teaching. Father, step into this family and do miracles. In the 
the name of Jesus. Lift your voice in one minute. Let's begin to pray in tongues. Shiva Please rise up on your feet, everybody. Thank you, Father. Because the oppressed will be delivered by the power of the Holy Spirit. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Please lift your hands. I want to begin to minister. Deliverance is very important. Very, very important. Is the platform that separates you from the spirits and the influences you see sometimes some of you do not even know that your lives are under um, certain levels of 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 bondage but then you will need the grace of god you will need the wisdom of god you will need his grace to give you direction and i'm going to pray for you right now my goodness the power of god is strong in this place so many people inside and outside it will surprise some of you because you do not even know now listen this deliverance is not just for individuals in fact god is going to start with families that's what i see god doing hallelujah praise the lord you've heard this happen again and again i don't know why god does this but the lady is going to shout under the anointing and this is what will introduce that grace a loud shout by the spirit of the living god lift your hands father thank you for your power and your presence in this place right now in the name of jesus at the count of three i want everyone to shout jesus from the depth of your heart i challenge every spirit i challenge every voice and every altar oh god that has kept your people bound that has kept families bound there's no place for escape for you tonight lord i pray that in a mighty way as your people begin to shout you visit them my goodness the power of god is already coming on people at the count of three one two get ready now get ready three fire upon you right now deliverance fire in the name of jesus receive it receive it help them please help those people right now in the name of jesus inside and outside I release the power of the Holy Spirit the power of the Holy Spirit right now right now right now right now right now I see the power of God along this region right here where the ministers are staying I see the power of God right now I cast that spirit I challenge every power every fraternity from hell that keeps people bound in the name of Jesus hallelujah lift your hands those outside alone those inside you can relax those outside at the count of three I want you to shout Jesus there are people who are tied to covenants I hear covenants in the spirit people tied to covenants as you shout that name it's like a wind that will blow outside and the power of God will begin to set people free. Are you ready now at the count of three? One, two, three. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. We release deliverance outside. We release mighty deliverance. Now lift your hands. You don't have to shout. Just keep it lifted. Hallelujah. I'm going to begin to speak and prophesy and for all those who are affected the power of god will begin to touch them bring them out here in the name of jesus lift your hands now i pray every family here under any spell every family lord where are they right now let the power of god touch them touch them now 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 right now in the congregation every family under any kind of spell I bring deliverance right now. I bring deliverance right now. In the mighty name of Jesus. I bring deliverance. Help that lady. I bring deliverance. Right now. Right now. Keep your hands lifted. Right now. 
Father, identify families that have suffered every cause right now in the name of Jesus all over the congregation inside and outside hallelujah keep your hands lifted no instruments just keep your hands lifted I'm going to pray I see fire rolling in the realm of the spirit now that fire listen that fire is going to come upon individuals i'm hearing stagnation that's what i'm hearing please keep your hands lifted inside and outside lord wherever those people are get set right now as i speak the fire will burst and begin to touch people stagnation wherever they are shake it, 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 it. begin to touch them right now by that fire receive it right now right now right now right now right now all over the building in the name of jesus christ that spirit of stagnation that has been responsible i see some people being touched outside i see people being touched outside hallelujah this row lift your hands just this row lift your hands the lord is asking me to stretch my hands towards you the moment i stretch my hands the power of god will move in dramatic ways and i'm hearing in my spirit breakthrough that's what is coming please make sure you believe at the count of three i want you to shout jesus it will be a mighty move of the spirit lord i do as you have instructed and at the count of three let there be breakthroughs one, two, three. Help them, please. Help them, please. We command it in the name of Jesus. Bring them out. lift your voice and begin to pray every force that has tied down my life you must leave me right now pray as some of you are praying the power of god will be touching you every spirit that is responsible Make sure you are praying. Hallelujah. Please lift your hands. Only the ladies. I want to pray for you. Only the ladies. A woman represents a gate in the spirit. And there are many ladies. Whose gates are tied and closed. But the Bible says to open up the two leaf gates. It will surprise you what will happen to many of you right now. Please keep your hands lifted. Father, I pray in a mighty way. Let every lady's destiny that has been closed at the count of three as they shout Jesus. Let those gates be open. Get set now, ladies. One, two, three. Open now. Open now. Open now. Shake it, shake it up my goodness i see padlocks opening that's what i'm seeing in the spirit open up those gates in the name of jesus open up those gates open up those gates now open up those gates now open up those gates now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Listen. Lift your voice and violently pray in one minute. And command that spirit to leave you. Go ahead and pray please. By the power of the Holy Spirit. You 
must leave my family just keep praying it's a new season by the anointing of the Holy Ghost every unclean spirit attaching itself to our lives hallelujah hallelujah praise the lord who came with this woman i'm seeing a spirit tying this woman watch this who came with mama out of her hold my hands mama listen she can't walk hold on mommy this woman cannot walk well you see this who don't worry stroke look at this how many of you believe god can do a miracle for this woman i command the spirit right now that spirit lead this woman right now in the name of jesus she doesn't hear very well too in the name of jesus i command the ears to be open mommy look at me lift your leg just carry it lift your leg carry it come come walk come 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 look at this walk by yourself come come look at this look at this look at this give jesus praise give jesus praise hallelujah listen she doesn't hear very well mama Come on, give Jesus praise. Give Jesus praise. Give Jesus praise. Come, Mama. Look at this. You know that this is a spirit that has tied this woman. In the name of Jesus Christ, we end captivity. Stretch your hands and pray that the Lord will perfect everything that concerns her. This is somebody's mother. Pray in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. hallelujah mama this mama come your time of breakthrough has come hold on look at what's wrong with you my leg cannot open your leg cannot this open leg, uh, this leg uh, how long 20 something years 20 how many years uh, it's getting who knows her years. you know you are their son come now you come and stand close to your mother how many years more than 20 years where are you from we are from sabongari mama you believe jesus will touch yes, you sir. i tell you there is nothing jesus cannot do yes, there sir. is the anointing you believe it yes sir say jesus jesus heal me heal me say jesus jesus heal me heal me father you died for this reason right now in the name of jesus christ let there be healing right now look at what is happening to her in the name of Jesus mama hold my hands walk come 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 try to climb now lift your leg try to lift it it didn't used to open before oh I see okay okay go ahead in the name of Jesus Christ lift it and do what you could not do just do it do it open the other one in the name of jesus god is already giving you a miracle by the power of the holy spirit can you see a miracle happening she could not open the leg completely could not open it in the name of jesus christ look at look at this god is giving this woman him eh? before she said she, she could not stand for five minutes I cannot stand for five minutes but right now god is touching you your back will be paining you in the name of jesus christ this perfection he has started that back ache i lay my hands and i release the anointing in the name of jesus christ just keep under the anointing she'll stand up and check herself hallelujah i'm seeing another mother i don't know why god is visiting our mothers right now i'm seeing mama please come can i talk to you ma somebody help that woman. please 
don't if we talk to you speak whatever language you can speak there will always be somebody to interpret it it doesn't have to be that you must speak english whose, whose mother is this eh? well done mommy what's what's the issue what brought her here she has been complaining of different illness mama what's wrong with you i got bp i got bp this Sunday, my blood they move like this my as I'm looking at our mother, Mama, as I look at you, I'm seeing something like a snake all around your stomach. That thing starts moving. Is that? And then it comes towards your chest area. Uh, then sometimes you feel pain at your back here. Yes, that devil will leave you right now. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. You believe in Jesus? I'm going to pray that God will use this lady. Because I looked at her and I just saw a dove rise from her. You, what's your name? Faith. Faith. Yes, sir. You will be a woman of faith. You believe that? Let me pray for you. Father, anoint this lady. Let your power come upon her in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray that God will use you mightily. Mama, let's pray for you. Lay your hands on your chest, please. In the name of Jesus Christ, God is healing you right now. High blood pressure high blood pressure and every other sickness I rebuke it right now and I command the spirit that oppresses you to live in the name of Jesus Christ by the power of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah now listen if you know you are involved in anything whether maybe you have a shop you are in business and nothing is working just lift your hands I want to pray for those people right now that's what the Holy Spirit is telling me. Please believe. Why is she out? Come, you're a mother. We can't keep you standing there. Let me just attend to her. Please, you don't have to come out. We'll attend to you. Whose mother is this? My son is outside. Your son? Okay, what's, what can Paul, we do for you? Paul. I'm weak from here downwards. You are weak from? Um, my waist downwards. downwards. But you can walk, it's just that the pain is there. The pain, I used to feel pain. I can't sit for long unless I lie down. I can't stand for long. Okay, Mama, just clear the way. Let Mama, you are her son, you are welcome. Let her just sit down there. We will soon pray for the sick. When it's time, you just bring her there so that you can hurry up. Praise the Lord. Uh, please, you don't have to come out. We are going to listen listen we are going to pray we we'll invite people to come out now well, I'm going to pray for the sick I'll lay hands on all of you praise the Lord so that we can just hurry up if we do it one by one like this we may not have all the time um, but why why is she uh, my problem is one year I'm eating with the dream you are eating the dream yes. food you mean one year now for one year non-stop Today is 15 days. My stomach, my back, in the pain. I cannot be sleep. I cannot be eat. Last, uh, last week, uh, Friday, I enter hospital. They give me medicine. I don't take all the medicine. Never stop. Well, we pray. Jesus Christ will set you free. In the name of Jesus. Mama, you two, just go and sit down there. Please, no. Our mothers don't worry when we start praying for the sick this is what we we'll do we may give room so that we we'll start with some of our elderly ones so that they can go back they may not have that strength will that be fine so as you line up if you see any elderly man or woman you can just push them forward so that we minister to them and then they can go and sit down hallelujah praise the lord but lift your hands now i want to release breakthrough i mean i, I mentioned the case right now I will praise him, I will sing to him a new song. I will praise him, I will sing to him a new song. I will praise him, I will sing to him a new song. And I will praise him, I will sing to him a new song. 
keep your hands lifted that has tied down your business all the works of your hands some of you will feel fire on your hand literal fire it will start burning on your hands right now in the name that is above all names i pray as that fire comes on your hand ideas begin to come to you receive it now in the name of jesus receive it now in the name of jesus receive it now in the name of jesus it's already happening to people right now it's happening to people the fire is coming on people help this brother please the fire is coming on people right now your hands ideas ideas this fire represents ideas receive it right now receive it right now in the mighty name of jesus hallelujah praise the lord now as we pray for the sick i know there are many people here who are sick please be orderly as you come while that is happening every prayer request please pass it over to the ushers you have your prayer request you can use the time to call some of your loved ones by the way when we begin to prophesy for some of you who have your loved ones at home you can put on the phone and connect with them honestly if they have the faith to receive and they believe they'll be surprised at what happens to them you are trusting god for a healing miracle make your way to the front now and begin to pray there is a god that heals here yes mama please don't cry can you get a handkerchief please Help our mother with this handkerchief, please. Please make your way to the front. It's called a miracle service. Look how many people are trusting God for healing. Forward all the elderly ones to the front. Please, all our elderly ones. Looked around and I realized That you've been so good to me standing here can we begin to talk to the Lord and say father peace who am I that you are mindful of me who am I that you hear my cry when I call you how can I love you more know you more source of my strength now you the strength of my life my hope and my joy my confidence now you the other source of my life the strength of my life my hope and my joy my confidence show you look at this oh my god put the camera here look at this can you see this person bring the person here look at this this is death already look at this i think you can can they see it on camera look at this you know that this is this is this is already this is an obituary 
her mother. This is her mother crying. Who is her mother? Why did the mother stay outside now and bring the... Oh, she went to bring Matt. They brought the girl on his... What's wrong with her? She has been sick for over six months now, but they have, been not, they have not able to be... No diagnosis. You will look at her and think it's HIV. Brothers and sisters, hear me. When a spirit enters a man, it leaves out his character through that person. Okay, let's, let's hear from the mother, please. What language can she speak? Kurama. Who is Kurama here? Huh? You are, please. Don't, can she speak Hausa? Mama Ki Hausa? Rabuda Suki Hausa? We, we will never put pressure on anybody. If she can't speak Hausa, she should speak her language. Um, what is wrong with her? What's the issue with the baby? Cancer. Cancer. Uh -huh. Eight. Cancer, the eight took her. Uh -huh. Basr. Basr. What's that? Uh -huh. Pile, cancer, HIV. Uh -huh. Look at this. Uh -huh. Tell her she brought, she brought her expecting. No, 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 don't worry. Tell her she came expecting Jesus to touch her. Kinzo oh, Kina. Can I also? So say, Kede Nani. Kasuna. Kede Nkasuna, she never hear also. But is that not your language? <laughs> Mama Kerkita, we are going to pray for her now. Oh, we are going to pray for her. Just clear the way. Can she hear? Can I see? Yeah. How old is she? You would think this girl is, is 10 years, she's 30 years. 30 solid years. Supposed to be married, right? With her children. She's married with two children. Oh my God. Huh? Mama? Okay. This is cancer, HIV, at a terminal state. The source of my strength, now you. Strength of my life, now you. My hope and my joy, hey, my confidence. Source of my life, strength of my life, my hope and my joy. My dear, can you speak English? Can you speak English? No, don't worry. Can you hear me? You can hear me. You believe Jesus can touch you? Do you believe that? Don't cry. Don't cry. Jesus is able to touch you. Father, show this lady mercy. In the name of Jesus, I curse that devil by the blood of Jesus Christ I command that spirit of infirmity that devil of HIV that devil of cancer I command you to leave her in the name of Jesus Christ I will ask you people to help her get up eventually my dear look at me look at me in the name of Jesus Christ I release strength to you strength to you strength to you try to move your hands or your leg go ahead try to move your hand or your leg if you can do you have enough strength for that can she hear me she's so weak she can't even hear me it's well just leave her to lie down with the glory as i pray for other people i mean she's so weak she cannot even hear me God, the devil is wicked listen i assure you that whatever it is What's that? Okay, the request. Don't worry. We'll pray for you. Hallelujah. Just leave her to soak in the glory here while she gets some strength and we'll try to lift her up and see what happens. 
Father, I pray for everyone here. Let the power of God touch them. In the name of Jesus Christ. Everyone came. Please be patient. You don't have to rush. The Lord himself will touch you. You came for a reason. In the name of Jesus Christ. You don't have to tell me what is wrong with you. If I ask you, you can tell me. But it doesn't matter. The spirit of death is on this woman. Mama, look at me. Come, please. What's wrong with her? I brought myself. You brought yourself. Yes. What's wrong with you, madam? Now, since uh, where would they for Abuja? Now, the bubble. Where the bomb will blow. So, what? I'm, I'm selling something for Nyanya. Yeah. I'm selling food with yeah. you. Where the bomb will blow for that side? Bomb. And, oh, uh, bomb blast. Yes, and now fall down. I, know, I cannot get out. They carry me to hospital. Oh, the bomb hospital. blast that happened in Nyanya. Yes. So, it affected you. Eh, so I can't get up. They carry me go hospital. So, eh, I spent four months go no go. They carry me go flying place. He collected uh, fifty thousand. Go no they, go. Call, they carried you go where? Eh, flying man. May go treat me. Say oh. hospital no feed you. A doctor. Oh, have a list. Eh, okay. Flani man. It's okay. The flying man collected fifty thousand. You know I've said it again. Please hear me. Listen. Let me let me press it down any man i don't care who who tells you to bring money to get a miracle even if it's me run away are you hearing what i'm saying mama our mothers i'm begging you in the name of jesus christ any man any priest any prophet any pastor any apostle any human being herbalist whoever that asks you to give him money so that you give him miracle tell him joshua selman said he's a thief he's not a man of god are we together start the cure the team the if you give me medicine i drink i will bring bad bad dream in the night so tell like that four months go and no go the man not time to bring thirty thousand again i said i know even see food that should bring thirty thousand again uh, i know see food to to my children again now and i'll start the bed the man no grief that mommy i'm a girl for it's how my room before we mommy for what what now i come sabo i come some my room here Come and say, come and I work up for player to player. But at the year player for you, where they say, make I come, make I know they, I know they come. I will just lie down. They feel pain every. Do you know that there are spirits that stop men from going to the place of their breakthrough? Have you seen people that you try to bring for koinonia on your way going? They just change their mind. It's not them. There is a spirit. I tell you that you make your way here alone. It's a sign that God is ready to visit you. Okay, what 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 exactly? I must enter today. I must enter as I just uh, come out for road. The machine just come. You say where the grass and at this church, he says, Oh, make a go, make go in Opa. Welcome the usher people. Say where they go, they go to my chance. I know if you these people can serve God, then then carry me from machine down. They hold my hand. God Call bless our feet. ushers. I sit down. When I sit down, finish. They come the advice me to make no hurry to enter. So and now when they start the play, I enter through gate. That I just stand up with my, with my now this hand they just stand for all this side. And now softly stand up. Uh. Stand. God come give me a condition. Strength. My power. What my what power. part of your body is not working very well? Yes. Now? What part? Oh, your. Oh, I see. Father, it's, it's okay, madam. Ma Mama, uh, we, we get what is wrong with you now, eh? In Jesus' name, we pray for you. If she couldn't walk, oh, there is a spirit at work in you. That spirit will leave you now. I command that devil, leave her. You think it's bomb blast, but. Oh, she could not walk, oh. They had to carry her and now she's even standing. That's even a miracle. In the name of Jesus. Madam, look at me. Hold my hands. I minister strength to you. Look at me. Come. Come. Help her. In the name of Jesus. Walk. I will hold you. Walk. Okay, look at me. Look at me. Start walking by yourself. Come. Came on a bike. Could not walk. Come. Slowly. Just take it slowly. Look at this. 
you can see that it's happening gradually gradually these hands were paralyzed madam look at me try to lift it up go ahead go ahead lift it lift it lift it look at this lift it lift it drop it down lift it again lift it again completely paralyzed completely paralyzed look at look at this look at this look at this a miracle is happening do what you couldn't do the devil is a liar the more you take that step of faith the more you see God stepping in father this miracle is perfected in our body in the name of Jesus Christ God bless you just keep exercising her we we'll have to pray please any special case who we'll minister at our time is gone I saw the spirit of death she was supposed to die in that bomb blast I didn't even know it was Nyanya bomb blast that Boko Haram bomb blast may you never be a victim of any man's wickedness in the name of Jesus Christ the moment I pray for you please as you return back check yourself and do what you couldn't do before if it's a striking striking testimony we'll just take it here worship team lead us through sessions of worship as we pray in the name of Jesus Christ thank you Jesus short of blood I look at you sir and your face has changed to the face of a cat this is what licks your blood this is what I'm seeing this is demonic you understand what I'm saying there was a time you had a dream and a dog was following you dog dog was pursuing you and I need to pray for you because this is a manifestation of the spirit of death in the name of Jesus Christ I command that spirit that devil of darkness to leave Please stand in and connect for your loved ones. We have so many people. Let's see how far we can. stretch your hands at this baby and let's close this hole in the name of Jesus you will have a child make sure you are praying 
one month two weeks a hole in his heart if god does not step in this baby will either die or something will happen i tell you we are the church of the lord jesus christ we can agree father we reject this we reject this as you are rejecting it for this child so it will be your life reject it lord your church is praying we change this report baby we speak to you baby you will not die you will not die you will not die we close this hole hallelujah go and check him don't cry don't cry eh? you are not going to lose your baby in the name of jesus christ amen we are going to pray it's going to be very very fast as i lay my hands on you just it's just a touch there is a reason why I'm doing this myself and I lay hands on you. Just a touch. The Lord is wiping your tears. The Lord is wiping your tears. And not just because you are crying physically. This woman is coming with so much pain. The Lord is wiping your tears. Now, in the name of Jesus, out of her, that demon that causes pain. In the name of Jesus Christ.
submit the prayer request ushers you can begin to bring the prayer request forward please everybody inside and outside make sure you don't miss this next session because that's where you get to receive your personal breakthrough so please forward the prayer request if you still have yours just lift it up and an usher will come to you quickly please guys let's do this very fast so that we can finish as hands are being laid on you i just want you to believe that god is touching you
Stretch your hands. Do, do we have all the prayer? Please stand up, everybody. We are wrapping up. Inside and outside. If you are yet to drop your prayer request, please make sure you send it. We believe this is this is it's not a religious activity. It's an instruction that God gave us. Because you see, no matter how I lay hands on everybody one by one, we may not have all the time for everybody to state what their needs are. But then let me tell you something. The truth about it is that I'm not the most important person in this meeting. There is one who is mightier than I. You didn't write these requests to Joshua Selman, I will not even read one of them. This is unto the God who can solve problems. Mommy, please come. Yes. I've been looking at this woman and I've been wondering what it is that God, what would you want God to do for you? To give me a quality spouse. To give you a quality spouse. 
this is what I'm looking at this woman and my heart had been drawn to her for a while madam you want to get married because you are not afraid and ashamed to say this in the presence of the people look at me I stake my reputation on this prophecy that I will give you you hear me if a man does not come to marry you go and publish it in a newspaper that I lied you believe what I'm saying I will not implicate myself and be a fool like this because as soon as I looked at you you said spouse I saw a man putting a ring in your hand that's why I'm telling you what I'm telling you. you believe this be sure to return and give the testimony and everybody be sure to look at her you are seeing her today when she comes back with her husband so you don't say that this is stage managed father in the name of Jesus I prophesy it by the power of the Holy Spirit okay just cover her I'm going to pray let me have okay this props water I wish there's any other one just to pray on it and then they will give her she's too weak we can't even test her whether or not but I see her moving her legs and moving all of this this is ordinary okay this ordinary water will just pray on it since that's the only thing she can I shall she but I shall she say me Father, I pray that this water will lose its earthly significance and take on a heavenly significance. That as she takes this, oh God, let this be um, a cleansing agent. Let it be like a drug in her body. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Can she hear you? Ask her how she's feeling now. I'm sorry, I forget this. Is why my courage. The matter I take a chance. You see, she's gaining some strength. She couldn't move before, but we see her gaining some strength. Uncle, you don't. Can you see her gaining some strength? She's even moving. She's pushing her away. Same issue. Something is happening to her. Look at this. Are you seeing? Look at this. Look at this. By herself. Oh. This is the power of the Lord. This in itself is a miracle. If you saw the way they brought her. Mama. Brother, the Holy Spirit is doing something in her life. My dear, as God grants you grace, you can just be moving your body gradually. We prayed on this and um Mama Gashi Abata Bakwaban is a shakramatadua. If you keep it there, all these children will come and pray. Stretch your hands on this prayer request as we pray. Let's pray on this request. Hallelujah. Please stretch your hands and let's ask the Lord to visit us. This is the greatest point of contact to your requests. This is the greatest point of contact to your requests. Father, we are praying right now in the name of Jesus. We are praying by the power of the Holy Spirit. Let there be a miracle. Let there be miracles. Let there be miracles. I'm seeing the Lord giving people miracles of jobs. Jobs. I see employment of jobs. I see a family that dropped a request here something about building a house and it looks like you will not complete it the Lord is saying before December 25th you will enter that house please pray father visit me talk to the Lord tell him your request is here
Let there be miracles, oh God. Let there be miracles in the name of Jesus. every request here to a testimony in the name of Jesus Christ requests of marriages may they be granted some of you have dropped requests here because the admission list came out and you did not see your name Lord we agree I don't know how you would do it but we agree that there be miracles In the name of Jesus. Lord, we release breakthroughs. We release all kinds of miracles. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please lift your hands as I prophesy. Everyone. I have grown to respect the power of prophecy. I know that for many of you, if I tell you which will you choose to prophesy over your life or to lay hands on you, you would prefer the laying on of hands because it looks like there is a physical contact. Not so. Prophecy is powerful. Very powerful. Please, I want you to shout amen from the depth of your heart. This is where you get to receive everything. Shout Amen. This is where the fire gets to fall on your life. This is where everybody participates. In the name of Jesus Christ. I command breakthroughs to come into your life. Supernatural breakthrough. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Please lay your hands on your head, I pray. Father, mm, this will come mighty on some of you. A baptism of the spirit of wisdom. Receive it now in the name of Jesus. Receive it, receive it, receive it, receive it now, now. Wisdom, help him please. Wisdom in the powerful name of Jesus. Supernatural wisdom. Understanding. Receive the impartation. Wisdom in business. Wisdom in career. Receive it in the name of Jesus. I pray for anyone who is confused here trusting God for direction in the name of Jesus may the force of God come to you and bring you direction in the name of Jesus Christ everything you have tried and tried to do and have not been able to do I speak over your life go back and do it again go back and do it again in the name of Jesus the kind of favor you have not seen from January till now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ may that favor come upon your life may that favor come upon your life receive it in the name of Jesus receive it in the name of Jesus Where are the helpers who are supposed to help your destiny and have refused to locate you? Wherever they are, everybody in life needs a helper. 
to move to the next level between you and the next level is the ministry of a helper right now everything that has died in your hands i don't care what it is i'm prophesying to you everything that has died in your hands by the anointing of the holy spirit that same voice that called lazarus from the grave right now calls that dying business from the grave calls that dying destiny from the grave in the name of jesus christ everything that is dead in your life comes alive now hallelujah every spirit that torments you and your family in any way in dreams in visions i declare right now they are silenced forever in your life they are silenced forever in your life anyone trusting god for a job or you are standing in for someone trusting god for a job hands that are lifted in the name of jesus the same way they are lifted above your head that's how they'll be lifted above joblessness in the name of jesus i release jobs by the power of the holy spirit whatever has covered your glory so that it is not seen and celebrated in the name of the lord god of israel i command that veil be torn into pieces every one of your family members that has been locked up by satan and stagnated in one place we release them right now 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 in the name of jesus christ anyone here being eyed by the spirit of death the devil is already planning that you and your family will celebrate christmas in tears we come with a prophetic word and we declare that death cancelled in the name of jesus death is cancelled in the name of jesus death is cancelled in the name of jesus I pray for every business in this place every business every shop every enterprise receive the wisdom of God receive the strength of God in the name of Jesus Christ between now and next week koinonia I pray that everyone will return with at least one testimony in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ I pray for your spiritual life whatever has died in your life spiritually I command a restoration right now restoration of prayer life restoration of word life in the name of Jesus Christ every discouragement in your life and every voice that keeps speaking to you that you will never make it any devil speaking to you that you will be like those who have failed we silence that voice right now by the blood of Jesus every legal access Satan has over anyone's life we declare that that access is broken in Jesus name everyone called barren we bring that barrenness to an end biological barrenness financial barrenness in the name of Jesus Christ where you have failed go back and succeed where they have ignored you go back and be celebrated in the name of jesus listen i prophesy to you 
you will operate in a level of grace a level of grace that will cause men to look at you like a wonder i speak it upon your life in the name of jesus christ the same grace that can make a man become an object of discussion the grace that can make a man become an object of wonder may it come upon your life i pray for your dreams and visions all the ideas god has been trying to bring that the devil has hijacked in the spirit we command that they must be released they must be released we release the ideas we release the concepts we release the insights in the name of jesus from today i declare that as you speak it may you see it as you speak it may your hands handle it for those who are trusting god for restoration i pray for you i don't know what you have lost i command a tenfold restoration hallelujah believe what i'm telling you some of you it will do you like a dream it will be like you just woke up and say no i'm not the one may it happen to you in the name of jesus christ someone will call you and tell you they have been trying to reach you for a long time just to bless you in the name of jesus christ listen some of you will be sitting quietly in your house that's how favor will come and meet you and take you to another level in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ i bring to an end every struggle in your life by the anointing of the holy spirit i pray for every pastor every leader here grace for the next level those of you who have come from other places take the fire and take it back to your regions take the fire and take it back to your regions in the name of jesus christ nothing dies in your hands nothing becomes barren in your hands in the name of jesus christ favor on all sides blessings on all sides in the mighty name of jesus christ hallelujah now very quickly we're out of time please keep standing everybody there are people here who are saying lord jesus i'm committing my life and my all to you please keep standing everybody no movements around there are people inside and outside here you came for this meeting and you have seen what the lord jesus christ has done and you are saying lord i want to surrender my life i've been living my life the way i want but i want to hand it over to you tonight some of you are giving your life to christ for the first time some of you are rededicating your life you said I've, I've come out once but something has happened in my life wherever you are in the next one minute i know many people outside those inside please join them come out here and i will lead you to give your life to jesus christ wherever you are young old don't sit down wait for anybody koinonia celebrate them make your way to the front don't be embarrassed this is what jesus can do with your life you've given people who are less than him your life why don't you commit everything i know this is not all there are still people inside and outside please make your way quickly god bless you as you come make your way quickly hallelujah while the rest join them god bless you keep coming quickly please hurry up and join them catch up with them it's a decision that will change your life forever we may not know who you are but we know where you are going because with jesus your journey is secured you've lived your life anyhow and you're saying i'm tired of playing games with god i want to make it right there is always room for you the throne is where you start from hallelujah praise the lord jesus. i want you to lift your right hand and say after me lord jesus please say it very seriously say lord jesus i love you with all my heart i believe in you tonight i surrender my life completely to you take everything about me use me for your glory in the name of jesus i receive eternal life into my spirit from today i'm not the same person again the power of sin is broken over my life in jesus name father i pray for these ones whose hands are lifted bless them 
they have made a decision for you they remain in you forever give them a new life in the name of jesus christ may the lord bless you in the name of jesus now i'd like you to follow the ushers they are waving their hands they'll have your details and they'll welcome you more warmly very quickly madam we're finished praying tap that madam she can follow them hallelujah praise the lord now all those who are worshiping with us for the first time very quickly one minute make your way to the front we want you to go back with an anointing and with a blessing honor them koinonia they are the result of your prayers our mothers our fathers our brothers and sisters thank you so much thank you so much they are the result of our prayers our commitment we prayed and asked the lord to bring you and bless you look how many people god is bringing come on celebrate jesus hallelujah now very quickly thank you so much sas mass thank you for coming this is koinonia a meeting put together by eternity network international we're here every dearly beloved i hope you were blessed by this message I want you to keep doing something for this man of God, our man of God, Apostle Joshua Salmon. And that is, I want you to keep on praying for him, that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him, that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of Jesus Christ, and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of Christianity. And then, don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here. Don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing, keep sharing abroad and let's all keep sharing Jesus. I'll see you again. Bye.